Game Maker How To, add diagonal movement or eight direction movement to your player movement. Uh, this is a popular one. It's really easy in Game Maker to get the player moving up, down, left, right, uh, basically like in this sample here. But once you actually say, hey, I don't want to just move up, down, left, right, I really want to be able to also have the diagonal motion when I have two keys being pressed at the same time. I'm going to show you how to do this one with code. It's pretty easy. Let's get started on it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scratch the code I have here with left, up, down, right. So I'm basically going to uh, delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it. I'm now actually going to handle the movement inside of the step event. So let's go to the step event. And I had this little guy here. Image speed is speed divided by 5. If you don't know what that was for, that was actually controlling the uh, how fast the sprite goes. So I'm going to leave that one in there. But here I'm going to actually handle now uh, checking the multiple keys. Game Maker has a method built in called keyboard check. And what it lets me do is basically check if a key is currently being pressed down. So I'm going to do this for up, down, and left, and right right now. So if keyboard check. Now here you give it a key. Now you have to know the key codes. I know that the arrow keys all start with VK, virtual key. So I'm going to go, uh, let's do right. A virtual key right is being pressed. Then I want to do some code. I want to say direction is zero, and I'll just leave it at that. I'll do the speed stuff afterwards. So actually, well, why not just throw it in here? Speed is four. I'm putting those semicolons here just to save space so it doesn't take uh, too much space on the screen. This way I can put, you know, the two statements in one line. So that handles right. If keyboard check VK up. Direction is 90, speed equals 4. If keyboard, check. Now here's where I'm going to do right and up at the same time. So I have to do the double checks to see if the diagonal is going to work. VK, right, and keyboard, check, VK, up. Well, this is a diagonal, and I know that diagonal is going to be 45 degrees. Speed equals 4. So with this one set up, that's just those two directions. Now, I'll give you a few little things here. Let's just see if this works. And then I'll point out a few things you might be wondering about the code. So there's right, there's up, and there's right and up. So it works nicely. Now, you'll notice here I didn't change the sprite. So technically, the guy's moving right there. So let's do the sprite too. Sprite index equals sprite player right. If they're moving up, sprite index sprite player up. And now here's our diagonal one. This is where you could actually decide uh, how you want them to look when they move diagonal. I don't have a diagonal sprite, so I'll just say splite, sorry, splite, sprite player right for that one. See how this works? Up, right, up, diagonal. Okay, perfect. Now, things to note in this code. I've put these just as if statements here. Now, I've put them in a certain order. If the right key is being held down, it does this code, and it actually goes again to check to see if that has been done. All right, I've just left them as all if statements here. So it's a bit of work for the, uh, for the computer, but you'll see that I put this one after putting these two. Okay, and that's on purpose, because you have to remember what would happen here is if I put these two after this if statement true that this if statement would uh, make the player start to go diagonal but then if it continued on and did these if statements it's going to then change the direction to zero then it'll check this one and yeah the up keys also being hit it'll change the direction to up and so that'll mess up our 
player movement. So now that you've seen this part here for up and right, you can obviously keep the screen going down a bit and do left and down and up and left, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, is there another way to arrange this that's a little more efficient so we just don't keep asking if, if, if? Yeah, there is. You could do this first if you wanted to use the if and else chain. You could move this if first, right? Check a more detailed. So you check your combination keys first. And then if the combination isn't right, then we can go else if. But you'd want to check another combination. So I'll really quickly type the final code here and we'll just jump to it. And we're back. And here's the code uh, cleaned up a little. And yeah, it looks long, but you know what? Once you have it in there, you have it in there and it works nicely. So you'll see what I've done here. I've now made it a little more efficient using else ifs. So if it finds one right one, it doesn't bother checking all the others. And to do this, I've checked the combinations first. So I th check that combo, set the right direction, speed and sprite. And then I go on to do right and down, left and up, left and down, just right, just left, just up, just down. And those are your eight directions. So yeah, it takes a screen of code, but that's the price you have to pay. Uh, it's not that bad once you have it in there. So that's sort of the basics. If you actually want to see this work in here, let's make sure our guy actually does diagonal movement. So there you go. Looks good. And you can decide on the sprites and the speed and everything, right? So it looks nice. Now, one thing we should note here that a lot of beginners have trouble with, um, it's what happens if you wanted to use letters. If you did want to use letters for movement, I'll just change this one right here. You actually don't go VKA for the A key, because I know that's a common one to put the player, right? ASDW. You actually say ORD bracket A. That's checking for if the A key is currently down. So just a little weird thing there in Game Maker, but that's how it's done. Let's put this back to uh, VK right. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you with your diagonal eight-direction movement.